All right, hi guys. Uh, so I, I wanted just to take a little bit of time today to, uh, to show you how things are going on the new uh, public safety center here on Brock Avenue. Uh, this will be the first fire station built in the city of New Bedford since 1956, 65 years ago. It'll be, uh, it's a combined police and fire station. This will be the first police station, uh, new police building, uh, built at least since the 60s. Uh, and so we are um, we're really excited about it. And we want to give you a little bit of, of a tour uh, today just so you can see how the construction is going. These are New Bedford's taxpayer, uh, taxpayer dollars at work uh, and they're well spent. We want to make sure that our uh, fire department, our police department are well equipped uh, to get their important jobs done uh, and that they uh, are in environments that are suitable to them but also suitable for the work but also suitable to them as well because they spend a lot of their waking hours here. So uh, we'll give you a little bit of a tour uh, on the way in. This place will be open in um, probably about three months or so. So it's uh, getting toward uh, toward the uh, the end and it's really exciting. It'll be a great uh, asset in the city. So let's go take a look. Awesome. Who's going to narrate? <laughs> uh, Tony, right here on the right. Tony, you want to be the narrator? Sure, I'll give him my best shot. All right, so, so, so Tony is on the project team. It's I'm sorry, can job. you say that again, please? Let me remove my mask yes, please. at your risk, Gus. No, just kidding. Yeah, we're all at risk. <laughs> John takes a step back. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it brief. So Tony's done a great job uh, on the project team. The whole project team's done a great job. He'll give us a little bit of a tour. Uh, today to, to hit the highlights, we're in one of the, uh, the the engine bays here, or is this a ladder bay? This is an engine bay, right? Uh, to talk a little bit about how things uh, are all fitting together and what the finishing touches are. So, Tony, I'll turn it over to you. Sure, thank you. My name, uh, my name is Tony. I'm with Pazuko Construction. We're the general contractor on a project. The uh, project is uh, actually coming along nicely. We really haven't had any major issues. Um, right now, we're kind of entering the finishing stages where you see a lot of dramatic changes almost on a daily basis. So uh, this is actually the fun part of, of the project where you see a lot, of, a lot of progress going on. So right now, we're actually in the, uh, one of the ambulance bays and uh, this is pretty much uh, complete where we just have a lot of cleaning up to do and there's some excess material still left here uh, for, for some of the finishing uh, things that uh, crews are working on. So uh, I'm not sure which direction you guys want to head in, but uh, is there a particular way you would start like to go? Yeah, let's let's uh, yep. go that way. I'm sorry. So I'm not sure how detailed you want to get or twenty minutes worth. Twenty minutes worth. Sure. So we're actually uh, entering into the uh, fire department base. Uh, you can see where the exhaust system and a lot of other things have been completed already. Um, on the upper area is the storage mezzanine. We also have supply, uh, electrical room, extractor, decon. So all of these different areas uh, that that's needed. Now with the, the, the fire, um, with the fire here, you, mind, you don't mind talking, right? No, no, no. Um, with the space for the, the fire department, do you guys have anything comparable in size to this anywhere else in New Bedford? No, no. Uh, as far as, so, I mean, some of the stations are probably, square footage wise, are, are probably equally as large. But the big thing about this is it's a drive-through bay. And drive-through bays are always great, especially for the ladder companies, because uh, you can pull around the back and drive through. You're not you're not constantly you know backing up you know into the station all the time. It's it's uh, it, you know to be able to have a drive through station it, it makes it. Now you know, this is substantially larger than most of the garages I've been in. Um, yes. What else do you guys get to do with, with the extra space like this? Well, we're going to have the um, uh, the marine units going to be stored here as well for the you know that's basically our rescue. Yep. Uh, watercraft for the south for the peninsula that's going to be here. We'll probably have a reserve. 
because uh, we're right now we have no space for reserve apparatus. Uh, they're pretty much stacked over at the garage on Liberty Street. Uh, so when we have multiple alarm fires, we need to have callbacks. So we need access to a reserve, uh, like a reserve engine. You know, it's kind of, you gotta go over there, and especially, like I said, in the middle of the night, if we got people coming back for a fire, you know, they have to go up there and get in. Now we can have a reserve apparatus, you know, that's ready to go over here. Uh, you know, so it's kind of moves things along, awesome. you know, so. So you guys are excited to have